Games and welcome to Fighting the First Week, the game, <laughs> Fighting the First Week, the game now, yeah. Um, anyway, what is my opinion on this game? This game is quite decent. Um, it reminds me a lot of Dead by Daylight, and this game has a lot of problems. Now, with the clutch you can see here, um, you see in a minute. This can't be real. That's what I know, um, I just thought that was just, you know, Jason teleporting near me. He spawned in the house. He didn't spawn in the house for us, he was right beside the house that he's in. Well, realising that now, he, he teleported over, but I don't know how he exactly knew I was going to be exactly in there. But other way, anyway, another problem I have is the community. And before you start saying in the comments that I'm hating on the community, I'm not talking about all of the community. I am only talking about some of it. And that part of it is the food. You do get some dead by daylight, but you don't get like we can't really do that much damage to you and mainly just help kill on some way. But that's really it. They can't exactly, you know, kill you. It can be a cause of your death, they can get you, you know, killed by the killer, but they can actually kill you. This game, they literally killed, but they took it out, I wonder why. But, you can still get killed. And, that's by getting run, do run over. Um, cause you could be, like, you could literally build a car. You could still not, not build a car, but fix it. And then get run over by a teammate that has the team jumps in it and runs you over. Or they'll just drive away without you. As far as I know, in this clip, I was going through some bad internet problems. I this is the, this the first time it's happened to me. I don't know if it's happened to other people, but this is the first time it happened to me. Um, I was on the bad internet day and um, I just found the code of part of it. Now, in my opinion, I don't know if they're doing it better in this game, but I can say one thing. I, the reason I really want to play this game is because Friday the 13th, the movies, oh, they're quite decent, they're quite decent horror movies, and I enjoy the horror movies. This game does kind of capture the feel of them, in some ways, and I like how from the kills, like the executions that Jason can do, is, is basically from the movie, and I think that's really good, so well, well done, well done. Um, but playing with Jason is quite fun. Except, as I said before, you've got the trolls. Their main objective to Jason is not to just troll their teammates, but also to troll Jason by stunning him, or mainly they're just getting a group of friends to just grab whatever they can find and basically beat him to death. Well, they can't exactly beat him to death, but. And yeah, that's another problem with killing Jason. You need certain items to kill him, and I know, like, yes, yeah, so it makes sense to. But the problem is with the axe. Like, you could be about to kill him, and the axe breaks. And your chances of killing him are, 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 are gone. And something else that makes Dead by Dale a bit better in this game is how. I'll just say, for example, let's just say. Um, no one has called the police. Um, someone has drove in the, drove in the cars away and got in the boat. The only way you can exactly win is calling the police. But you don't know where that is. You are basically done for. Because Jason's going to find you in a millisecond and literally snap your back into two. Now, as you can see right now, uh, here's, as I would say, maybe a troll, I don't know. They are trying to make sure, because I know they have key, because you can only get in the car with the key. They, they were waiting for me to go away to the side without me and get a friend. And the car, I don't know if that one has four feet, but I'm pretty sure it does. They end up getting it crashed and have to get another car. What I, um, that, um, what ends up happening, I end up getting basically two. But let's not talk about that. Now a massive problem is graphics. 
the graphics in this game um, need improvement I would say. It's my biggest problem is Tommy Jobs' is, is, is just his face looks like plastic. It looks like he's made out of plastic. Like it doesn't look right at all. And that's with some other characters. The only character that doesn't seem to have this problem it actually works. might be Jason. But other than that, like that's quite annoying and I really do all like clothes in this game. They're just quite annoying. It's why I prefer the the daylight. But as I said, I really, really like the Friday the Perfect movies and I was sort of hoping that Jason would come to Dead by Daylight. Because that would be really interesting. And this game has quite a bit of maps, by the way. I was only expecting to have like two maps maybe. Qu has quite a bit of maps. And actually has quite a bit of stuff you can do and that just reminds me the biggest problem is if you want to play online you have to wait on consoles at least 10 minutes of waiting that's what usually takes me that's, called, that's not called the internet because that's the script of a game and you can wait 10 minutes finally get into a game and just get murdered immediately because it's so annoying you just I don't understand why it's taken so long the way it's possible because no one plays the game that much anymore. Like, um, I feel like this game needs to work on something. It's a, quite a glitchy game. And I think another problem is, is how Jason, I know he's supposed to be a bit overpowered, but he seems a bit overpowered. I know like he can basically stop us from like doing anything but the minute he's got rage activated it's impossible to kill him. It is well not kill him but escape him basically. Lock a door? Nope, he's just bust through that. Oh, gonna try and um just to go into his room or he can just probably kick down that wall if he wants to. Got it. And another problem is it's hiking. With Dead by Daylight, the way they did it is that you had a crow, and I don't want to keep going to Dead by Daylight, but a crow would like come on the top of it. In this game, your character would leave, and yeah, that seems quite realistic, but you basically can't hide. Like, you'll hide, your character can hold your breath for like 10 seconds, like they've got asthma or something. And I can say that because I do have asthma. But they hold their breath, like, you know, it's like a bad smell, I said, but it's quite annoying. And something that makes Tommy Jarvis quite useless in some ways, because, well, Tommy Jarvis is, like, really good with stats and all that, but it's what he has, like, he, he has the, I'm going to say rifle or shotgun, it looks to be a shotgun, but it mainly seems to be a rifle. And he also stops with a pocket knife. Pocket knives are annoying when you're playing it when you're playing space. They are just annoying. You'll take you finally grab that guy who's been annoying you for this entire game and he's stabbing you in the throat and you've got to wait until you can pull that out. That is just annoying and it is really just oh god. But well, let's stop talking about the main part of the game. Let's get on to the virtual cabin. I completed the virtual cabin for mainly for a walkthrough, but I saw a trial the the um trial virtual cabin with a walkthrough. It was quite good and then it showed Jason X at the end. It was quite cool and the problem is we still haven't got any Jason X. Where is Jason X coming out? I would like to see Jason X, I'd like to see the map. Jason X was an alright movie. Kinda, yeah. I don't know, there's people that hate it, people that like it. I right. think it's a, I think it was a decent movie, because it's trying to be unique. But, you know, it can't really be that unique in some... It, it, okay, I'll stop talking about the movies with Dead by Daylight, okay? But, I feel like this game 
Things have used a bit more console, and they do try using that with challenges. That was basically single player. That was basically the campaign of the game. And I think the campaign, well, I'm going to say it's a campaign. It's quite decent, but it's so annoying. Like, you've got to do stealth in some parts. Well, you've got to basically do stealth in all of them. I don't really feel like Jason's a stealth person. Yes, he stalks people and all that, but I don't think every kill was, you know, stealth. Because throughout the game, you're trying to, you know, cap, you're trying to kill, um, you're trying to kill them. And in the movie, yeah, he does kill most of them in like a stealthy way. But you've got that one person that runs away. Any challenges, you can't let that happen. You can't, of course you can let that happen. But if you want to proceed, you need two skulls. So unless you're wanting to try and tell everyone, that's the most easiest one to do in my opinion. Um, the cell, and I can't remember what the other one was. But something else that I'm really glad this game can do is locking doors. Or even having doors. Because of how big the map is, and with how many buildings there are, you wouldn't be really, really expecting... Um, you wouldn't be really expecting this game to have, you know, so many houses with so many do with so many doors. Because I like how you can be getting chased by the killer, and you just close the door behind you and lock it. He's got to fully, like, chop that down. That goes you a couple of spare seconds to escape, unlike in Dead by Daylight. The minute he starts chasing you, the best you can do is either get him in his own trap or just hope he walks onto someone else because there's no way you're escaping. And the thing is, Jason's abilities don't change with any other Jason. And that's what feels quite disappointing, um, to be exact. It would be kind of cool with each Jason for there to be different abilities. Um, I don't know, I would have liked to have seen that. And something that doesn't really make any sense is how you knock the masks off on Jason when you hit him like, a couple of times. Jason, uh, part two Jason has a sack on his face. And... I what? How does that come off so easily? Like, well, not easily, but I think it's supposed to symbolise that you've basically hit it off and the straps have came off. But how does a, a sack that I think tied around him come off that easily? Unless we, you know, cut the rope. But unless Jason's got, you know, another rope in him to put the mask, the mask back on, I don't understand. But. I shouldn't be so nitpicky, but another thing, um, I'll probably just end this video quickly, but I love the part, uh, part 5 I think Jason it is, unmasked, look at that on the internet, that's amazing, but, in my opinion, I got Jason, uh, I mean, 2013 of the game, um, I got that, uh, uh, 6 out of 10, but, we'll see you next year, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Um, remember hit the like button, that's the button, I'll see all of you in the next video. Goodbye.